Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. This is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. So in this video, we can talk about dev tools in NGRX. For doing this implementation, we have two important steps. The first one is we have to add the Redux dev tools extension. So basically, it is supported for Chrome and also Firefox. So the next thing is we have to install this NGRX dev tools package. Okay. So first let me go to my application. So here our application in this running mode. Before starting our implementation, let me tell you what is the use of this dev tools. So basically these dev tools are used for debugging our NGRX. Okay. So if you are storing our data in session storage or local storage, even cookies, we can directly check in this application side. So currently we don't have anything. If you have something in this local storage, we can verify it here. Similarly, this session storage. Okay. Since this NGRX also storing data in this client side, so if you want to see, you have to use this dev tools. Okay. So now we can start the implementation. So the first step, as I mentioned, we have to include this extension. So let me type Google Chrome extension. So here, let me search like Redux dev tools okay this is the tool so let me add to our chrome add extension okay the extension added that showed we are seeing this message remove from extension okay so let me close this tab so basically we will get one more tab that is the redux if it is not coming we have to restart our chrome once again we can open our site see the new tab is coming redux the next thing is we have to install our ngrx dev tools package in our application side so if i go to the official site of ngrx get started so already we have installed this ngrx store so currently we are in this developer tools only so in this overview also we will get the same information so let me click this installation so here we will get this command. So this is the ng command. Similarly, if we want to use this npm or and, so we have to use. So let me copy one second. So if you are installing any package, make sure you have to stop your application. Once the installation completed, you can start one second. Okay. Okay. The package is found. Do you want to proceed further? Yes. So this installation will take some time. Okay, the installation gets completed. Now we can verify the changes. So we can leave this package lock. So in this package.json, we are able to see this new package ngrx store dev tools. So the version is 16.0.1 only. Next in our app model. So here, this store dev tools model is imported. Okay. And then in this import side, we are able to see this store dev tools model dot instrument here we have two properties okay so the first one is maximum age and the second one is log only first let me tell you this maximum age so if there is any action happened in our ngrx it should be captured in our dev tools okay so like so already 25 action is completed so now i am performing the 26th one means so if i am checking I am able to track this 26th also, but at the same time, the first action has been removed from our ngrx dev tools. Okay. So in case if you want to get all the action should be captured mean, you have to provide the value is false. Okay. That we can verify a little later. And the next one is log only. So this property is used for restricting our dev tools monitoring. Okay. So now let me run this application. We can verify how our dev tool is working. Okay, our application is running. So we can refresh once again. See now, this start symbol is enabled. And also our NGRX store is initiated. Now I am going to click this increment button. See? So the increment is happened. So in this right side, see? The previous value is 5. 
now it is changed into 6 so in this raw also we can see the same information okay so next I am going to click this decrement so see the action is so decrement so the previous value is 6 now it is changed into 5 now I am going to use this custom functionality let me provide 13 if I am added see custom increment is our action name so the previous value is 5 now it is changed into 18 so similarly if you want to track everything one by one we can track so initially it is changed to 5 to 6 so after that 6 to 5 then it is 5 to 18 so similarly if I am clicking this rename see the action name change the channel name so the previous value is Nikira Techies it is changed into welcome to Nikira Techies okay so these are the basic information and here we can see as the play button so if I am clicking this one see this our UA also so let me start once again you can watch these two areas so initial value is 5 then 6 18 finally it is changed into welcome to Nikira Techies let me click once again see 5 6 18 welcome to Nikira Techies so what are the actions we have done we are able to recall everything okay and also uh, we have this action section so in this right side top also so if you click this action so the same things we can verify once again see so it will provide only the action information so the type of the action is increment the next one is decrement then custom increment then change channel name so if I'm clicking this increment two to three times everything should be added and also we can see how many actions has happened around nine actions are happened okay so state is already we seen so next one is difference so here also we are able to see what's the previous value currently how it is changed so similarly we have this uh, trace and test so that actually not that much important so currently we are in this inspector mode similarly we have this log monitor chart rtk query also let me use this log monitor okay see so using this log monitor we will get the complete information so initially it, it is started within this counter state it is having two properties so then our increment action is happened so based on that it is counter changed into 6 and the channel name is as it is so again it is restored within 5 and the third action is custom increment so here we pass the value is 3 and similarly we have passed one more value that is add so based on that our values has been changed the counter is 18 and the channel name also Nikira Tech is we are able to get all the details so next let me move on the chart okay so chart you can see the state it is having the object is counter it is having two properties one is counter and also another one is channel name so if I am clicking this increment you can see it is somewhat blurring because whenever I am clicking this button so this property only varying so that's what it is blurred so similarly if I am clicking this rename so rename it is not changed because we are updating the default value I am restarted once again so if I am clicking this rename it will be blurred okay because first time it is Nigira Techies second time onwards I am changing this into welcome to Nigira Techies so hereafter again it is updating the same value so that's what it is not triggered okay next let me explain this maximum age concept okay so we can restart this one and also we have this reset option also see if I am clicking many times currently we have this 8 records that means 8 actions happen so using this reset option so it is completely changed basically it is affecting our UA also let me show you once again see the value is 10 and this one also welcome to Nikira Techies I have not refreshed my page so if I am clicking this reset see everything got restored okay so this is the concept here so next as I mentioned 
we can verify this maximum age see the count is 24 reached so if I'm clicking something also initially it is not considered after taking some time see suddenly it is changed into 31 so now what I'm going to do let me review so let me click this play button you can see it is started from 8 okay so we can rewind so initially it is started from 0 see so the next click converts it is directly moved to 8 so then 9 10 11 so if I'm come to the end you can see the value is 31 okay so the reason is we have mentioned the maximum age is 25 so that's what it is keeping just to 25 records so next what I'm going to do instead of this 25 let me provide false so we can save this one so now in this redux side we are not yet started so let me click this increment button so it is started now I am clicking now so we are reached 24 so now it will allow it is not passing anywhere so currently we have 36 actions so let me click my play button see it is starting from 1 to 3 and it will come up to the end okay so in this way we can hold all the actions in our dev tools okay and similarly we have some other options so if you want this as the separate tab so it is opening in this left side see it will capture all the information so similarly if I am clicking this one it will open in this right side and this one is for showing this bottom so this is the way we can track and debug our ngrx activities so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching